Hello and welcome to The Body Coach TV. This is an introduction to HIIT training, so that if you're a complete beginner, I'm gonna talk you through it, help you build up your confidence and your fitness so that you can enjoy some of the other workouts on my channel. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds rest. So all you gotta do is work as hard as you can for that 30 seconds, enjoy the rest, recover, and then go again on the next move. We're gonna start things off nice and easy, so make sure you've done a warm up. Okay, and what we're gonna do, the first one's just gonna be marching high knees. So you're gonna march on the spot, you're just gonna go left, right, left, right. So here we go in three, two, one. So just march on the spot. Again, what I wanna do is go through all five moves, and then on the round two, I'll go a bit harder to show you we can step it up a little bit. And then round three and four, same thing. So it's four rounds in total, five exercises. So nice straight back, lifting those knees, up and try and hit the elbow. Good. So it's about you going as hard as you can. Brilliant, so now we get to rest. So it's all about high intensity. So what you do is you work hard for that 30 second working set, get your heart rate up, get out of breath, then you rest and recover for 30 seconds. And the second move we're gonna go into, nice and easy, we're gonna do some shadow boxing. So on the spot, you're gonna throw 10 straight punches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Shuffle to the side, and again, one, two, three. Okay, so it's 10 punches, shuffle, 10 punches. This is a lion pack one, just building your confidence up. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Off we go. And ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Little shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice tense, strong fists, nice straight punches. Ten straights and along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And again. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got five seconds on the clock. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then last one, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and finish. Good. That's exercise number two. We're now going to do ground touches. Okay, so what we're going to do, basically, touch the ground on the spot. If you can, nice straight back, wide legs, wide gaps in the legs, and just bend those knees until your fingertips look. You can touch the ground and then up. Touch, touch. If you find that you can't get that low, you only get into there, it's fine but your aim is to try and one day get to the ground and touch those fingertips onto the floor. Good. So you bend the legs. Imagine you're sitting down into a chair. Your weight stays in your heels of your feet, not your toes. Good. So down, up and down, all the way, nice and slow, just to get you started. And then we'll speed up again on the second set. Four, three, two, one, and rest, good. That's exercise number three. We're now gonna do basically a nice walking shoulder press. So we're gonna lift the knee and press those arms up like you're pressing two dumbbells into the so shoulder press with a knee each time. So that's our exercise number four. 30 seconds on that one. We're starting in seven seconds time. So you just start the movement like this. Shoulders back and press and then lift your knee. Each time, good. Knee up, press your hands up, punch those fists into the air. You'll feel your shoulders working. Squeeze the abs a little bit. Good. Try and push right up. So don't come forward to them. Try and go right up above the head, yeah? Straight above the head. Nice and controlled. Knee up, press up. Knee up, press. Brilliant, so that's fourth exercise. We're now gonna do power knee. So what we're gonna do is one, the right leg back, we do 15 seconds on each leg. Basically gonna put one leg behind, one leg in front, hands up here, and we're gonna knee. So we do 15 seconds on one leg, then we change, same again, 15 seconds, driving that knee. You get a nice stretch through your abs and your lats here, you get a nice big stretch up, and then drive that knee through. So let's start with the right leg first, right knee coming up. Let's go. Do 15 seconds. Well done for sticking with me. This is round one. We're going to go around this circuit three more times. So four, three, two, one. Change legs. Knee with the left leg now. Good. Brilliant. It takes a bit of balance this one. Kick back. Knee up. 
Good. All the way. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So that's one round. Grab a quick drink. We've got a 30 second rest. And we're going straight back in with those marching knee ups. I'm just using a little time with an interval timer so it's beeping every 30 seconds. So back into those marching knees where we go left knee, right elbow, and then this is sort of level one look. And level two, just a little bit quicker. So try and go a bit faster, get your heart rate a little bit higher. Let's go. Knee, knee. Good. Nice straight back. Keeping those knees high as you can. A little twist. Good. 15 seconds to go. If you're not getting the knees right the way up, it's fine. You might be getting them to there. Eventually, you'll be able to drive them right up as you get stronger and you'll use more muscles and burn more calories and rest. Good. So that's round two. We're now into the punches again. Again, so now we're going to throw these punches a little bit harder, a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really put some power in them. Tense those arms. Squeeze your shoulders. Push, 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 push. And shuffle to the side. Okay, so stick with me. We're doing really well. We're going in three seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Good. And along. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Good, and along. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. And nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Go on, move, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last set, over here's finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Okay, now we're on to the Ground touches again. So remember, nice wide stance. All we're going to do, squat down, touch the ground, up and touch. And all you've got to do to make it a little bit more intense is drop fast and stand up fast. Okay, so here we go. Second set. Get some air in your lungs, have a little deep breath. Right, I'm ready for it. So we go down, up, down, up. So if you're not touching the ground, it's fine. You might be to there, look. You might be doing a little half reps. That's all good. Just get as low as you can. Making those legs do the work. Knock your lower back. Drop down. Push through the heels of those feet. Okay, so your weight's coming through here. So I do it like that. Weight in the heels. Drive up. Three, two, four. Oh. Right. We're now into the walking shoulder press again. So, first of all, bring your elbows back and try and keep that position there. So squeezing your shoulders together and just pressing up. Really, really squeeze the muscles in your upper back and your shoulders. And then lift your knees as you come, okay? The knees up, shoulder press, knee up. You're gonna feel that in your core, believe it or not. If you, if you squeeze that knee up, so press, Good, and then you can get a little bit quicker. Oh. Good. So knees up, just go a bit faster. Your knee comes up as your fist comes up. Good. Halfway, 15 seconds. Get those knees nice and high. Pump those arms up. Five, four, three, two. One, and rest. So you're going to feel it in your shoulders then, probably your little neck a little bit. We're now into the power knees again. So it's going to be the right knee first. Hands like this. Stretch your body nice and long. Up, and then knee. For 15, and then we swap. Yeah, so keep it going. Stick with it. We're doing really well. It's a 20 minute workout. We're doing four rounds in total. We're almost halfway after this. This is our halfway point. Let's go. So you've done really well. Just by turning this video on and starting it, you've made a good step. You're making progress. Right, let's go. Last few seconds. Four, three, two, one. Left leg now. Same again, power knees. Balance, stretch, drive that knee up. 
And again, look, to make it harder, faster. It's you against the clock. So it's just you, as quick as you can on hit training. It's not as fast as I'm going, it's as fast as you can go. And if you find it a bit difficult, you could always have an extra 30 seconds rest just to recover a bit and then go again. But if you do this a few times a week, you'll soon start to feel the benefits. This will get easier and then you can move on to the next workout. There's loads on my channel. So you can have a look around. There's some beginner ones, intermediate and all sorts. Right, so we're now back into the marching knee ups. So, level three. I'm gonna go even faster now. Knee, up, knee, up, up, knee, up, good. Go, go, go on, push, push, keep it going. We've got 10 seconds to go, all the way, knee up. Four, three, two, one, and rest, brilliant, right, so, We've done that, we're now going to be in the air punches again. So, nice fast punches, 10 reps, shuffle, 10 punches, shuffle. Really fast now, let's try and get that movement across, nice and quick. So if you're in your living room or your garden, just shuffle quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, bam, 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 pow, fast, nice quick punches. Okay, let's go, ready? One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shuffle. And again. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Shuffle. Good. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shuffle. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move along. One, two, four, five, six, nine, ten. Good. And again. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Move along. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And again. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Good. Well, what we've done. So we've done that. We're now onto the the ground touches again. And at the end, we'll do a little warm up. Sorry, a little cool down, just a little stretch, so that if you are a beginner and you haven't done this sort of stuff, just to loosen up the body so that you're not so sore, because you might feel the muscle soreness for a couple of days afterwards. It's totally normal. But if we do that, it might ease that a little bit. Okay. So here we go. Toe touch, uh, ground touches again. Nice wide stance. Touch. Touch. Good. Brilliant. Just don't be tense. Don't be tense. Just, to, just to use your back, look, because there's no legs working. You know, you've got. A, this isn't going to do your legs. You've got to bend those legs. So straight back, straight ahead. My legs are working. Look, if you get the legs working, you're going to burn loads of calories. They're big muscle groups. Ah. Right, that's good. Next one, number four, then you do the walk in. Oh, lost it. So shoulder press, and then knee, 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 knee. As fast as you can for 30 seconds. Okay, we're going again in 10. So enjoy that rest. Shoulders back, and then we press, and then we go knee, knee, knee at the same time. You ready? Let's go. Good. Get those knees right up. Really try and drive it up. So if the knee comes up, hands come up. Uh, fists to the air. Fist pump. Uh, okay, I'll show you how you can go a bit quicker. Look. Tap. Up. 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 Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Uh, and rest. I can feel it in the shoulders. Okay, so third set, the power knees, and again, we'll go right knee first, so right leg back, hands up, and we do 15 seconds on the right leg, and then we're gonna do the whole thing again. One more round, so we've done three rounds so far. You've done really well if you stuck with me. Try and push through to this final round. That will take us to 20 minutes. It's a great workout for a beginner. And again, if you aim to do this kind of two to three times a week, you'll feel brilliant for it. So right leg, right knee, and it will get easier, and you'll get stronger, and before you know it, you'll be moving on to the next workout. I really believe in HIIT training for anybody, old or young, because it's so good. It's short time, but maximum results, because you just burn so many calories. Other leg. 
And look, I'm in the gym, but effectively, but I'm not using any equipment, it's all body weight. Ah, and that's the thing, you don't need equipment to get lean, you just gotta cook healthy food, do regular exercise like this, and you'll feel great and you'll start to burn fat and you'll stay lean all year round. So, next one, final set. We're now gonna go to level four, yeah, fourth gear. We know what's coming, step up a little bit, push that little bit harder on these sets, and we're out of here. So if you're thinking about turning the, the, uh, the screen off or the TV off, stick with it, stay with me, right? Last set, let's go. Last five minutes. So five minutes, but it's only two and a half minutes of work, right? So we're stopping for half, aren't we? So let's go. Knee, 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 knee. It's proper, just the motivated stuff, this. Knee, knee, quick, last one. Last set, knee. Knee, knee, up, 10, oh no, sorry, three, two, one, ah, and the rest. Brilliant, we're getting there now, we're getting faster, we're pushing a bit harder, hopefully getting a little sweat on, I am. It is, a, it is you know, they're basic moves, but they get your heart rate going, you're using loads of muscle groups, and it's just easy, basic stuff to get your body moving right, getting you fit and confident, and um, you know, just building you up, because this is level one, this is ground zero, this is ultimate beginner, um, and you're going to really feel the benefits doing this, right? <coughs> Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shuffle. Power now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hit these hard. Two, one, seven, eight, nine, ten. And across. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is it. Last set. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Last set, finish here. One, two, three, and eight, nine, ten. Oh, right. You're into the toe touches again. So remember, if you're not touching the touch ground, it's fine. Just make sure you're bending your legs, okay? So even if you're doing a little half reps, look, if you're overweight or you've got issues with the knees, you know, just take it easy. You're not going to get right down on session one. Might take you a couple of weeks, but you will do it. Just bend the knees, just get whatever you can out of it. Okay, we're working these legs here, these muscles, the quads, and then each time you'll get a bit lower, right into them. Just bend the legs, don't cheat. And it's gonna burn, I mean, my legs are burning now, but I'm still bending the knees there. I'm not just dropping from here. Bend those legs, get down. We can work. Ah. Ah. Right. Brilliant. So, we're now on to the shoulder press one again. Two more moves and we're done. So, it ain't been too bad, has it? Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to the channel because I put a new workout up, work up every week. And um, if you've got any friends or family that want to get fit, let them know about the Body Coach TV. I love putting out free content. I'm always doing videos. So, check it out. And on Facebook as well. I've got a Facebook page. Right, so, here we go. Up, up, good, knee up. Right, so, we're into the rhythm now. And now we go, oh, faster. So, knees up, push, knee up, press, up, shoulders up. Get those fists above the head. Good, nice and high. Keep going. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. Right, the last move then, the power knees. We're almost done, 30 seconds away from finishing. And we'll go through a couple of stretches, just a little two minute stretch down. So if you've got time, please make time for that actually. It's really important because you will feel sore otherwise if you haven't done this is your first workout. So we'll do the little two minute cool down. Your body will thank you for it. Right, so power knees, here we go. Last set, right knee back. Right leg back and we're going to drive up. Here we go. Right, so nice big smile to finish. 15 seconds on the right leg. Oh, I'm going for it now. Power knees, come on. Power, speed, heart rate, up. Four, three, two, one. Left leg, go. Bang, all the way. 10 seconds, come on, we're so close. 
And then you let that last push. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Look, congratulations, we did it. 20 minute beginner's hit session. That's how you do it. You might be feeling a little bit lightheaded, a little bit sick, that's totally normal. When you train and push yourself and get that exertion, those really, really high intensity levels, you might feel a little bit out of it, it's not all the time. And um, yeah, let's go for a little cool down then. So first thing I'm gonna do, one of our favorite stretches, the hip flexor, because we've been lifting those knees. Put one knee on the ground, just stretch this. So please take the two minutes, let's do this to me quickly. And then you're off for the day, and you've left this workout an absolute winner. It's good to stretch that. Then sit back into the hamstring, stretch the hamstring. So stretch forwards into the hip flexor here. Then sit down into the hamstring. Good, and then we change the same thing again. Right leg forward this time. Ooh, so keep your balance, just stretch forwards into this hip flexor. Stretch back into the hamstring on that leg. And again, push into it, so stretch. So congratulations if you did complete that and you did all four rounds. If you had to take a little bit longer to rest, it's fine. You could always miss one out, have a full minute rest, then jump back in when you're ready. That's another good way of doing it. Um, brilliant. Now I'm gonna do a few little twists, so just nice and slow, toe touches. So yeah, if you're a complete beginner, I reckon doing that sort of two or three times a week to get you going is a great start. And we'll have you feeling really good in no time. A few twists up here. Good, another one, just put your hand against the wall. The stretch the quads, these are the ones that will be quite sore from all those squats we've done. So just get a stretch there, knees together. And um, yeah, I post regular videos. I've got my Instagram, which is at the body coach. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter, so if you need more recipe ideas, check it out. It's called hashtag leaner15 on Instagram. Right, and the other leg. But you really only need to do one workout a day. You can do it anywhere, anytime, if you travel, in a hotel room, in your garden, anywhere you can. Hope you enjoyed that. This is me, Joe Wicks, The Body Coach. I'll see you next time on The Body Coach TV. Have a lovely day.